Here we are, Reb Shonam, the Southern Wall Excavations. You should take a walk inside and I'll tell you a little bit about what you're looking at. We're looking at Robinson's Arch above our head as it comes out. And from here you can see this is one of the first bypasses anywhere in history. In other words, you, you came out on one side, you bypassed and you came down steps on the other side so that there was a tunnel that went underneath. There are no other examples of bypasses anywhere in history before this. The, the main Jewish population lived on Mount Zion across the way. And they had to go across the valley and walk up steps to get onto the Temple Mount. So this is the steps that led them from the valley, from Mount Zion, up these steps and up onto the Temple Mount from the southwest corner of the Temple Mount. The Romans, after destroying the Temple, you can see how they broke the stones that made up this bypass. Look down here on the sidewalk below, all of these stones come crashing down and broke all of the slabs underneath it. Can you imagine the weight of, those, of that overpass as it falls down? and breaks these stones on the side. Look at the stones now, they're all broken. On both sides of the street, we would have seen stalls of people who would have been selling maybe doves as a pilgrim offering or a small kid, a goat or something like this. You can buy here and exchange money if you came to a foreign country and you needed the holy shekel to give and you only brought drachmas from a faraway place. So you could change your drachmas for shekels and then you take the shekel to go into the holy temple. These are the stalls where the people that would have represented would have been able to help all these pilgrims who came from far distances away to be able to accomplish the things that they wanted to do to make their pilgrimage here. Also below the street level here, you can see the slabs, these are the original Roman slabs of the pavement here. But this is something really special. This stone right here used to be up at the very top corner of the southwest corner of the temple. From this spot, the Cohen, who was the priest, would stand every Friday afternoon and he would blow his trumpet and all of the residents of the city knew that the Shabbat was about to begin. This piece of stone is where he stood. It used to be about 30 meters, 30 yards above our heads and it was thrown down by the Romans in 70 CE when they came and captured the temple and started to take its walls apart. And the inscription here is also written in Hebrew to the Beit HaTkiah, to the House of the Trumpeter. So we know that this is reserved for the person who came here on the Friday afternoons to blow the sound of the trumpet to, to welcome in the Sabbath. There are also many, many excavations that have exposed houses and mikvot, which are ritual baths. And throughout the centuries, that many, many, many cultures that have come through and conquered and inhabited the Holy Land have built places here. And we have the remnants of water cisterns and the, ritual baths and houses and other things that were occupied during the ages. Here we are now walking up the steps that 2,000 years ago that pilgrims that made pilgrimage from all parts of, also from the land of Israel and also from for other parts of the world that came to make the pilgrimages. This was the main entrance to the Temple Mount. And we had to walk up these steps and you'll notice that these steps, some of them are narrow steps and some of them are wider steps. This is not to encourage people to be in a hurry. They can stop and, and talk among themselves as they go up the steps. They're about to, uh, uh, to go up the steps of the Temple Mount. Just look and realize that this is foundation stone of this hill. The hill goes down here. You can see how there may have been a platform of stone that was put on top, but this is the original stone of the, of the hill itself as it goes down uh, at an angle here. These are called Hulda Gates. The Jews, during their pilgrimages, entered on the right hand side upon exiting it's also the right hand side but if we're looking at it it's from the left hand side from the outside if someone goes in through the left and the left they're approached and consoled as being someone who has lost a, one of the seven closest relatives mother father sister brother husband wife or child he's consoled and says may the master of this house help you through these uh, hard times Boss, the tour has been beautiful thank you so thank much. you very much well,